Working on a 2006 Jetta with a diesel. Power came in, no start, no crank. Customer replaced the battery themselves. I already started working on this a little bit, so a couple little things are apart. And um, a lot of things on this car are damaged. You can see this air filter housing. Someone tightened this with a, uh, a half inch impact or something. I don't know what happened, but it's, it's pretty rough. But whatever the case, um, we'll start by removing the, the air box. So we we'll get that out of the way. Once the air box is out of the way, loosen the power lead on the battery. Just disconnect that. You don't want to you want to deal with. Um, I just flip it out of the way so it doesn't touch. You can also just put this over the top so the terminal doesn't swing back over and destroy the world. And then you can see the starter now from the top. So it's a pretty simple job. I like to. This is a manual trans, so I just take this uh, counterweight on the sh shifter and kind of swing it out of my way a little so I can see the starter better. And then get that ground strap off there and you can just go ahead and pull that upper bolt so 13 millimeter nut and then behind that is a uh, 18 take those just both off and then uh, back here pull that electrical plug with this little tang pull that out of the way like that and then this rubber boot comes off the back of the uh, starter and then you can pull that power lead off the back of the starter. And then you're done from for up top for right now. I lifted the car up and pulled the belly pan off. And from the bottom side, you can see there's not a whole lot to do here. All you have to do is remove this one nut here and pull that bracket out of the way. You can just take that and swing it out of the way once that nut's off there. And then the bolt underneath. After that, starter's loose and you can just pull it straight out from the bottom. All right, it's out. Real easy job. You can see what happened here. The braided wire between the motor and the solenoid here is just corroded, it's broken. So I'm just gonna swap this out with a, uh, a new unit and just reverse procedure, pretty straightforward. And that's it. Thank you.